Hello, today we're going to talk about how to create uh, custom policies in your WAS application. Now one of the most common reasons for this is business applications inside of a company that you want to be able to look at with these graphs up here. Uh, by default Cisco WAS will try and accelerate all TCP traffic and it will do that but all that traffic ends up going into the quote other category and if we look right here we can see other traffic happens to be 64 percent on this little lab system that we've got here so I'm gonna show you how to go in and change this so some of this traffic can show up in in these graphs first thing we want to go is into devices and we'll go into device groups and why we do this in device groups is you want this to be the same across all of your devices in the network you really shouldn't have policies uh, unless you have a very specific reason to be different on any of the devices so we'll actually do this on all devices group and we can see that this is the baseline for all of our configuration and we want to go into um, acceleration and then policies and then definitions once we're in our definitions we want to go to create new policy we want to go down to our application and our application is our application type and what we want to do is create a new application and then that application is going to be company apps and you can't have any spaces in that we're also going to click enable statistics and that means uh, that we will click statistics and we can see information on this in the graph there's a limit of 20 applications that we can uh, put into that graph at any one time so keep that in mind you can always turn off statistics on other applications we'll write a brief description and then we'll go in and put a classifier now classifier here is stating a specific um, information about an application we're going to say uh, this is their ERP application under application classifier we will then look at our match conditions and we currently have no match conditions so we're going to create a new match condition and we could theoretically do it based on IP address with wildcards and we can also do TCP ports or source IPs destination IPs and then our ports so let's do a um, let's see a destination end port and we'll say that is uh, let's go seven 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 we'll just say four sevens is our destination endport now destination endport being what this is going to be when it's reaching the server so the clients gonna create its own uh, TCP port number it's gonna be random but the destination port number will always be or sevens for this particular ERP server that we're making up as we go along. We'll say update classifier and now we have information in here about our destination port number 
and it's for ERP and we'll hit submit. We can then go down to here and choose what kind of action we want to provide for this. Pass through means that we won't do anything to it. However, it will be um, logged and we'll have statistics on it. TFO only shows us where we're just doing TCP optimization. TFO with data redundancy elimination uh, shows the uh, transport flow optimization with DRE, i.e. Uh, elimination of data and caching at a byte level. And then the final one here, um, TFO with LZ compression, so that's just compression of the data. And then full optimization is everything, so TFO, DRE, and LZ. We'll go ahead and put full optimization. And remember that's the default as well. Um, here we want to look at position. Do we want it first, last, or in a specific location? You probably don't want something to go in as last unless you don't want it to be hit. When WAS tries to classify data, it looks at the policies from the top down. So the first one that gets uh, that matches, it will send it into this optimization. So we're going to say first on this, and we're going to enable it right away. There we go. We now have ERP. It's a company application. It's set up for optimize, which is TFO, LZ, and DRE. It's enabled, and it's basic number one. We can then, if we wanted to, go in and create another one, and we would change this now to company apps, and we could create a new classifier for another uh, different company application that they might be using. If we go back to our home page now, I will say OK, so we didn't make any changes on that one. Under our application traffic mix graph, we'll now see company apps right here down below. And now as we run these applications, if we had any company application traffic in there, it would now show up on our graph. That's everything. Thanks and have a great day.